and the Twins. Uh, some good early, but you're right, Danny, just a, a horrendous collapse here at the end. And seeing this record, at, regardless of win today, would be great, but a, but a sub-500 record just did not see this coming. Uh, Luis Arise, he has been getting it done all year long on the cusp of a batting crown starting today. Aaron Judge is not playing. Arise at 315, the batting average. Aaron Judge at 311. And the 3-1 is outside ball four. He's on base percentage, picks up some points. Batting average, though, nothing. Here's Gary Sanchez, and he's trying to end in 0 for 16. Blast to left field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and that's gone. One swing of the bat, 400 career RBI for Gary Sanchez, his 16th home run, and the Twins jump in front 3 0. Boy, those milestones, see how easy you can do it mm. with one swing of the bat? <laughs> Yeah, like you said, he had been 0 for 16, but he'd been swinging a good bat. With 3-2, got a hanging breaking ball. So Celestino flies out to deep right. Cave now with third, two down. Let's see if Matt Walner can add on to a promising first inning. Walner, two homers, nine knocked in. Now a liner to center, and that's down for a hit. Walner now has 10 runs batted in with Cave coming in from third base. Well, good start to the ball game for the Twins. They have an early 4-0 lead. It's Jermaine Palacios at the plate. He hit his first career home run last night. A deep drive to left, and Palacios has number two. His first big league home run coming last night, followed immediately by home run number two, and the Twins jump out six to nothing. His first eight hits were all singles. And now back-to-back -back home run. And now Sanchez drove a three-run home run to get the Twins started. They added... Three more after that in the first inning. Now to right field. And that is headed towards the gap. A rise around third. He's going to score. And Sanchez goes to second with an RBI double. Four early runs batted in for Gary Sanchez and a 7 nothing lead. Well, if the story of the game coming in was Luis Arise batting title, Louis Varlin maybe getting his first win, the offense certainly doing their part. I'm going to keep an eye on Gary Sanchez now. He's got he's halfway to the cycle. As Celestino steps in, fly out the deep right his first time. Up the middle, a base hit. And two more runs will score. And Celestino with a two-run single. And the Twins have followed a six-run first inning with at least three more here in the second. And Rise will come up his third plate appearance, having walked twice and scored twice. High fly right center field headed towards the gap. Sheets is after it and he won't get there. Arise will round first and decide to go to second. And he has a double and two walks in the first three innings. Good for Louis Arise. And here comes Louis Arise out of the game. Congratulations, Louis. Led the league in hitting for most of the second half. And he comes off the field as the eventual American League batting champion. Absolutely earned it. Congratulations, Louie. What a moment. When you have put yourself on a list with the parallels in your profession, as Louie Arise has, Oliva, Carew, Puckett, Maurer, why wouldn't you smile? There's a high fly right field. Going back is Sheets. He's at the wall. And he makes the catch. Tagging and scoring from third is Hamilton. A Gordon nearly hit a grand slam, but as it is, it's one more run here in the third and a 10-0 Twins lead. Gordon wanted that grand slam, but he in, instead got a sacrifice line. Martin started. He had to leave in the second due to a biceps issue. Velasquez, Bummer, and now Diekman have worked out of the bullpen. Palacios hits a hard grounder. Diving stop. Gonzalez at short. Throw to first. And they got him as Vaughn stayed on the bag. Woo. Palacios came flying through and kind of gave him a bear hug to avoid a collision. What a play by Romy. And the inning is over. Seventh inning stretch time. It's 10 0 Minnesota. One pitch and one out. And now Gonzalez, who just made. Five star play defensively. The accuracy was impressive as this goes bouncing into center field. A tumbler of a single here in the seventh. 
swing and a liner toward the left field corner. It's a fair ball. Gonzalez to third, and he'll be held by Super Joe. It's a double, and then they're at second and third. Urshela. He made a bad throw on target to end the seventh. Two men left in scoring position. Top of the ninth inning of the season finale, Jimmy Lambert is on to face three, four, and five for the Minnesota Twins. Gordon, Sanchez, and Cave. Swing and a miss on a slider. Celestino swung at a pitch in the dirt. They appealed to first, and Paul Clemens made the call before they even pointed at him. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Twins 10, White Sox nothing. Bottom nine, Twins 10, White Sox nothing. To third base, Urshela with a Jose Chan reverberating, and that's high from Urshela. Romy is safe at first. The two on now, Carlos Perez. They have a rally without a hit. An error and a hit by pitch. To left field. Cave is back on it. Carlos Perez, a one hopper over the wall. And that'll get one run home. It's an RBI double and a souvenir over there. The Sox are on the board at 10 to 1. Sox break through here in the ninth. Another double, second of his career. Second of the day. Back to the mound, and Angle hung up. Urshela at third, chases him toward the plate. Elvis advancing to second base. There's a tag on Adam. Behind it, Carlos to third, Elvis to second. And two down. 10-1 game, bottom nine, and here is Yohan Moncada. Pop-up should end it. And Urshela with a catch to end the 2022 Twins season. A season that finishes 78 and 84. It's the Minnesota Twins have made sure the Sox are exactly at 500 this year. 81 up and 81 down. Well, the White Sox didn't do it this year. I know they're going to work hard to right the ship and get it ready for 2023. Patty Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.